Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the NLP Society. I'm Dr. Hariri. My full name is Dr. Muhammad Hussein Hariri As. I'm the creator and chief administrator of LLP Society, which is an online community to practice English academically and interactively. Uh, you can easily find us on uh, on the internet. The domain is so easy, LLB.net, and we are famous on Google, LLB Society. And uh, in this session, I'm going to teach you some tips on improving your reading skills, reading comprehension, on the basis of uh, one of the articles written by one of the active LLB Society's members. His name is Shapur Khoda Parast, and you can see his uh, profile photo here. And um, he has written this article and published it uh, on LLB Society, and you can do the same thing in order to become an, uh, a famous and renowned author. You can just uh, see us or uh, find us on, on the net, LLB.net, and uh, there is a form, you just complete the form and submit it to us and we will process your manuscript and publish it under, under your own name. Okay, so uh, as you see the title is How to Improve Your Reading Skills. So, uh, so uh, first of all, according to, this, uh, to the author and to this article, you need to make the time to read. I know that you're busy and actually life is rather tough and you can hardly find some free time actually to read but that must happen to you or you need to make it happen to yourself so you need to make time to read and uh, so uh, for example you can just economize the way you just use your time uh, by according to the uh, author for example you can just create some mp3 files and listen to them on the way for example our big problems and the main reasons are down to or because of down to means because of time because of work and family commitments then we have to it's, we must make the most of every every second make the most of means get the most out of means maximize use up and uh, we can find and use it appropriately okay the new generation isn't used to uh, isn't used to carrying books with themselves but they are ready to for every they're ready for every time and every moment to use their cell phones and we know there are a lot of ebooks even with audio tracks like podcasts and that is true uh, so instead of just focusing on paper books or uh, traditional books uh, actually if you are a teenager and you have a thirst for uh, digital devices so you could use them in order to improve your reading skills uh, by focusing on ebooks instead of just paper books and also uh, uh, there are many ebooks that come with uh, audiobooks or audio tracks, so you could listen to the corresponding podcasts at the same time. And you know, uh, uh, on LLB Society, there are over 500 English podcasts and English lessons, so they can definitely help you to improve both your listening and reading comprehension. Then, whenever or whenever we are going to work or everywhere we need to go we can listen to those to these things as well okay or when we are sitting on a bus it's a great time to read the PDF files PDF stands for portable uh, document file so ebooks uh, files that we ever wanted to read but unfortunately hadn't enough time or didn't have enough time so this is a good technique for learning new vocabulary and phrases now these days everyone has a cell phone record the words that you would like to learn on your cell phone 
then when you're out you can listen to your files and repeat them as many times as you wish yeah for example if you're a beginner and uh, you're listening to a podcast maybe the first time actually you cannot understand what you're listening to uh, so you have this chance to repeat that as I said as many times as you wish so don't be frustrated and try to just uh, repeat the file again and again in this way you have created a precious time for learning without any any stress that's exactly true this activity is completely stress-free and because actually uh, as I said if you're a beginner or pre-intermediate you you need to just cope with the level of stress so this technique is completely stress-free so it's you who can create means build or make a time for yourself if you really want to learn something yeah uh, you will become autonomous let me just write these words autonomous learner autonomous means independent okay uh, all right so if you are creative enough you can make innovative means creative innovative novel okay innovative mp3 files yourselves for instance for example you can record new words and vocabulary uh, with their spellings and uh, also add up an example for the proper uh, for the proper word you are recording Mm -hmm. so this technique is so important because you know if in order to improve your reading skills first of all you need to know enough academic words if you're going to pass some standardized English tests such as uh, English, IELTS or TOEFL so this comes first vocabulary enrichment comes first okay and there are a lot of uh, various techniques and methods for improving and enriching your vocabulary so it's up to you how much do you create time for yourself and use this time with innovative techniques so you need to be creative because you know you need to come up with the methods that work for you because maybe actually the method that I'm using is not uh, really in line with your personality and you don't like it you are a visual learner and I'm an auditory learner supposedly so just trust yourself you can change every impossible thing to possible thing so this is a very optimistic uh, way of looking at this issue and there are a lot of other ways and techniques for learning uh that it needs to talk it needs to talk somewhere else and uh yeah good luck so there are uh, there are uh some other points that by the way i should thank mr uh khoda parast a lot shapur khoda parast for just submitting this article and publishing it uh on lelb society thank you very much so you could do the same thing by the way remember and uh, uh, there are some other techniques that I'm going to share with you um, on uh, improving your reading skills first of all just take a novel or short story or whatever you know just improving vocabulary is not enough and just take a novel or story or short story and uh, in order to practice extensive reading extensive reading what is extensive reading? the the opposite of extensive reading is intensive reading for example if you just read uh, some instructional material such as five or four absolutely essential words 1100 words you need to know for and against and some others so this is a kind of intensive reading because for example you need to stop and look up for the words you don't know highlight and underline and so on and so forth which is really good annotation but uh, for a while you need to practice something else which is called uh, 
actually extensive reading it means non-stop reading even if for example you come up with some words that you don't know but you don't care because you you need, you need to continue okay uh, you need to un just understand what is going on so that is extensive reading and when you read a novel you practice ex extensive reading the other techniques that you need to practice uh, are scanning and skimming what are the differences or distinctions between them? When you scan a text or a passage, you just read it as fast as possible in order to locate or find some specific words. For example, just try to uh, read a paragraph that you have not uh, that you have not read before, in order to locate some specific words. For example, words about computer, words about uh, digital appliances or something like this and don't care about what is act what has actually been written there so don't 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 care about the meaning of their text so uh, this is scanning and the opposite is skimming uh, so when you skim actually it is a uh, another type of um, let's say speed reading because these are speed reading techniques okay so uh, for skimming you just read the text text or passage as fast as possible in order to understand the main idea behind it okay this is speed uh, uh, actually uh, skimming and uh, also reading between the lines for example sometimes some messages are uh, just conveyed implicitly implicitly or indirectly so you need to be able to just uh, actually extract the messages so uh, or for implicit you could say implicit you could say tacit okay it means indirectly making inferences sometimes you need to just uh, uh, come to some conclusions conclusions so making inferences I'm sorry conclusions okay and increasing your attention span what is your attention span attention span actually is the amount of time that you are attentive or alert so uh, and for example the the average attention span is around for 15 minutes and uh, of course it varies uh, among people different people but you can just expand that and increase that because it is very important if you are just for example preparing yourself for the IELTS or TOEFL exam there are long passages and you need to have a, a lengthy enough let's say attention span in order to be able to just digest the information and process that uh, vocabulary enrichment vocabulary enrichment or improvement as a matter of fact in my idea comes first because when it comes to reading skills um, uh, improvement you first of all you need to improve your vocabulary there is no doubt about that so one you know on LEB society uh, you can have access to uh, over 1500 English flashcards on our Instagram page let me show how it works so this is our Instagram page um, to just uh, accommodate or conclude over 1400 English flashcards and you can see all of them here uh, they are on the basis of uh, the course books 5 or 4 absolutely essential words and 1100 words you need to know and I have visualized all of the words uh, in order to make them easier for you to learn and remember so I, I just uh, encourage you to just uh, take a look at the uh, uh, our Instagram page uh, to just uh, learn your English vocabulary with the help of so many uh, flashcards that have been meticulously just created by me okay so 
uh, the other point is that you know on LLB Society we do have an IELTS and uh, TOEFL preparation course which is free as you can see 100% free English class for IELTS and TOEFL and we just run this class or hold this class every night from 8 30 to 9 p.m. according to according to Iran's time so uh, if if you are free at that time so uh, you're always welcome to join this free English class in order to improve your IELTS and TOEFL uh, actually uh, skills for that test so yeah thank you very much and I hope to see you uh, in our free English class and uh, thank you for your attention and see you soon bye bye